Hey guys, Colleen here, DIYer behind LemonThistle.com, and today I have a simple watercolor tutorial for you. I love playing with watercolors. I love that even though art isn't something that I am naturally gifted at, it's something that I can play around with and have fun and it doesn't take a whole lot of knowledge for. So before I get into it, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, I would so love if you did that below so you don't miss out on any more DIY or home decor videos. So for this watercolor tutorial, I am using my very favorite, just one color of paint. And this is what I love about watercolor so much. Even though I'm only using one watercolor paint, you can get so much dimension and so much texture and so much goodness just by varying the amount of water that you're using. All right, so for this project, I just wanted to create something that was summery and added a little bit of color to my mantle. And when I was looking at the different things that I was drawn to, I really love botanicals. I love plants. I want all the freshness, but I already have a lot of plants and a lot of greenery. So I thought, well, hey, I will do it on paper this time. So for this project, you will need watercolor paper. I just use the cans and stuff that you can get at Michael's. You'll also need a palette. If you don't have a palette, you can definitely just use a little ramekin or a small plate or cup or something like that, you need something that you can mix your paint in. And I really like having more than one so that I can have one for the water and one for the paint that I've mixed up. You'll also need watercolor in the color of your choosing. So I used one for my Kirataki palette and I will link to the palette that I have below. It has 36 colors, but you can also get individual liquid watercolors from Michaels. And some of my other watercolor tutorials on YouTube here are using those liquid watercolors if you'd like to see the way that you mix those up. But it's very similar to the solid watercolors. You just have less mixing to do. All right, so to mix up your watercolors, from a solid watercolor like this. You just dip your paintbrush in the water and you can see that I have one of these little trays filled with water and then one of them as I dip my paintbrush into the water and pick up some of the watercolor paint, then I put that down in that other palette. And I do this so that my paintbrush isn't covered in paint and I really like to mix up a few of those strokes and drop it into the palette before I get painting. And I do this so that I can have a more even color instead of mixing it each time that I need to do a new brush stroke. The other reason that I really like this is because it's so important to keep the watercolor shape wet as you are painting so that you don't have any lap lines and you can get that really cool watercolor effect with the paint bleeding into the lighter colors. So the first thing that you'll want to do is you'll want to start drawing your shape. So I did two different designs. I did a palm leaf and a banana leaf, and both of these are not super accurate. They're modern, I like them, and I did them differently. The palm leaf, I did the center stem first. I did this as kind of a guide. And then the banana leaf, I kind of painted one side all at once and then added the other side in after. Since the banana leaf has more painted area that's connected, it was more to keep wet all at once, and I probably should have switched to an even bigger paintbrush than I did. Uh, for the palm leaf, each piece is kind of individual, so I could go a little bit slower with each of those leaves. So just start painting out your shape and where you want to have less color, dip your paintbrush in more water, and where you want to have more color after you paint your leaf, then go ahead and pick up the darker color and just tap it on there. And tapping it on there will lay down more color on your paper, and since you're using watercolor paper, it can hold more water and it will hold that darkness. So one thing to note is that it will get lighter as it dries. So you can like tap a lot of paint onto there. And since your design is wet, it will bleed really beautifully into the areas around it, but it will also dry a little bit lighter than that and a little bit softer than that. So for the palm leaves, I just followed this one stem and I added the leaves on. They're not perfect. I took turns kind of adding darkness to the outer edges of leaves, midway through the leaves and in towards the stem. And then I did thicken up the stem at the end because I thought that it needed just a little bit more. The second painting that I did is this banana leaf and I really love the way that this one turned out. This is the one that I ended up putting on my mantle. And for this one, after I drew the overall shape, I went and I added in the darkness kind of in strokes to look like the veins of the leaf. I also added in a couple cracks in the edge of the leaf, which I really love, gives it some character. 
that is it you guys. I am just so happy with how these turned out and I really love watercolor because like I said you can get so much detail and so much interest from just one color. Then you don't have to think about mixing colors and if you've got the right mix and then when you need more, oh my gosh, did you mix it up the same color again? Or are you gonna have a different color? Just using one paint puck, you can get these awesome botanical watercolor paintings. If you'd like more watercolor tutorials that are super simple, I have a few. I've put them all in a playlist to make it super easy for you to find. And if you're looking for more home decor ideas, I have all of those in a playlist as well. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss out on any more DIY or home decor videos. We'll see you guys next time.